Hi everyone, this is Joy here. Welcome back to another Lawn Fawn video. Today I'm sharing some fun Christmas tags using a Creature Was Stirring stamp and die. Now I've stamped the images from a Creature Was Stirring stamp set onto some white cardstock using jet black ink, which is Copic friendly. So I'm gonna be doing some Copic coloring here and I've started with my cute little mice and I'm using W1, 4, and 7. And I've laid down a light color. I come in with my darkest, which would be W7, blending out a little bit with that medium color and then coming back in with my lightest and blending it out. And I'm just gonna do that till I get a nice, good blend between all of the colors. Now this stamp set is really, really darling. So I've stamped the mice from the stamp set, the gingerbread house, the cake, the cake stand, the little candy canes, there will be some gingerbread mice and gingerbread men and some chocolate chip cookies that I have stamped to color with. And I've also stamped the holly berries and leaves. So I'm just gonna color each one of these images. I have stamped multiples of these. I'm not gonna show all the coloring on all of them, but here's that cute little mouse gingerbread cookie. I think that is so darling. As you can see the colors that I'm using, the red that I'm using is R89, 37, 46, and 20. I am using a green G46, 29, and 07. And then I decided to bring in a teal color, BG18, 13, and 11. And for my white that I'm coloring the white parts, I'm using C1, which is a nice cool gray color. I like adding this teal color in. I think it adds a different pop of color to the Christmas traditional red and green, and I love how that looks together. So I am gonna keep the color scheme fairly simple. The gingerbread I'm using E35, 37, and 59, and the cookies are E29, 55, and 33. Now for the mice, their hat, the mittens, and the apron, I'm gonna be doing red. On the apron for the little belt, that will be the BG 18, 13, and 11. And also on the mice for the inside of their ears and their bellies, I did R20. And then I went back over it with that W1 to kind of soften the pink just a little bit. So I'm adding the shadows to the dark areas, then the light, and then the medium color to each of these images. I'm gonna be coloring using that same red combination, all of the candy canes and the C1 for the white parts of the candy canes. Now I'm coming in and coloring the holly berry and leaves. And this is from A Creature Was Stirring. And I colored those with the same green and red. And then I've got these really fun, cute ornaments because I thought this would be fun to have on these tags. And the ornaments are from Trim the Tree stamp set. Again, using my same color scheme, I didn't wanna to bring too many colors into this, but those three colors really, you have a lot of options uh, to make things just look so fun and cute. So I'm just gonna color a few of these ornaments, and again, I will color the rest of these off camera. Now I have the mug and the book, and that is from Den Sweet Den. I'm gonna color them all of the mugs in the turquoise color and all of the books in the green color. I just thought that would be a lot of fun. And these little books just made me think of a recipe book, which I thought would be darling. So I'm coloring that in and I'm also gonna bring in a micro pen and write on the bind, on the spine part of the book that it says cookies. And I just wrote that really, really tiny. I'm gonna come in and finish coloring these small chocolate chip cookies from A Creature Was Stirring. And then these large chocolate chip cookies are from Milk and Cookies stamp set. And I'm gonna die cut all of those, all of these images with the coordinating dies. Now here is this stamp set, Tiny Tag Sayings, and I'm using three separate sentiments, a little something for you, happy holidays, and merry wishes. The tags are die cut using the Say What gift tags, and I've die cut these kind of a turquoise green, three of those, and three red striped ones from Let It Shine 6x6 paper pack. I prepped those with my powder tool, stamped the sentiments, and I'm gonna use gold embossing powder because I think a little pop of gold is so pretty and so elegant. Even though these tags are super playful and just fun, gold I just think is absolutely gorgeous, or you could even do silver and that would be just as beautiful too. Once that's sprinkled on, and I used clear embossing ink for that, Lawn Fawn's clear embossing ink, 
But once that's sprinkled on, I'm going to heat that through until it's melted and nice and shiny. And I will do that for the red tags as well. Now I'm also going to stamp on the bottom the to and from, and I'm stamping that in jet black ink. I did think about doing it with embossing powder, but I was afraid when you wrote the names on there that it might chip off the embossing powder. So I just stuck with the black. I just keep putting them in my Misty. My stamp stays in the same spot and I just keep putting in each tag and stamping that until I'm all done. And I will do that for all six tags. Now I've got this cute little uh, Christmas lights and I love Christmas lights. This is from Build a House Christmas Add-on Die and I've die cut it from white cardstock and then the black part is from black licorice cardstock. I have colored those with the same Copic markers, the BG18, 13, and 11, R89, 37, 46, and G46, 29, and 07, and I just alternated the colors. And I'm just using the glue tube to adhere that black strip on. It just looks like the black wire, which is really cute. Also doing a sparkly paper would be super darling on that as well. Now I have die cut six white tags using Lawn Fawn's white cardstock, and I'm going to adhere the striped tags that we already have die cut, stamped, and heat embossed to the back side of each tag. So I will do that for all six, three red and white striped, and the three kind of a turquoise green and white striped. Now I have all of my images laid out and you can see for each design there's two tags, one red and one green. And I'm just gonna start gluing everything together. So for this first one, this has three little ornaments hanging down from the top. I am gluing the steam, which was stamped in narwhal ink. And I have that glued to my mug. Once that's dry, I'm just gonna tuck these images behind each other to give the look of dimension. The only thing I'm gonna add foam tape behind are the cute little mice on each, one of the on each one of these tags. Every other image is just gonna be glued directly to the tag. And here is my little micro pen and I'm adding the string for the ornaments. So that little tag is done. Now onto our second one. Here's the one with the cute lights, just using my glue and adhering that right to the top part of the tag. You can see here, this has the big cookies behind and the platter of cookies and the cute little mouse with the mittens. It is so darling. So I'm just adhering everything with glue. Again, there will be foam tape behind the mouse. I'm tucking in the holly berries behind the cookie tray adding those, stacking those little cookies on top of each other. I love having two different sizes of cookies. I think that is so fun. Again, we have the cute mug. We're gonna tuck in candy canes, giving it all kinds of dimension. And I will trim off anything that's hanging over the edge. I thought about leaving it on, but I opted not. Okay, so now for this last one, I am going to stamp some snowflakes from two stamp sets. The first one, I have two, two snowflakes from Oh What Fun, and then I have another snowflake from Trim the Tree Stamp, and I'm going to stamp that using the Minty Fresh ink, and it turned out so, so pretty, and I'm gonna do that for both of these identical tags. Now that that's done, it's time to just finish gluing everything together gluing all my little images. We've got this cake with some holly berries on top. And it looks like this mouse has just put that on top of there. I added a little bit of R20 to the cheeks because I did forget to do that uh, on the mouse. I'm adding in that cute little cookbook. And then we have the gingerbread men. And I just love, I just think those are so darling. We gotta have our hot cup of cocoa or coffee or whatever it is. And of course some candy canes. And I just thought we needed one more candy cane back there because I just wanted a lot more. I wanted each one of these little mini scenes to be so full. So now that those are all done, I'm going to add some detail with my black glaze pen to the eyes. Then I'm gonna come in with Lawn Fawn's Liquid Stardust and a very tiny paintbrush. And I'm gonna add this, it's so such a pretty glitter. I'm gonna add that to my holly berries. I'm also going to add that to the Christmas lights, the stripes on the ornaments. I'm going to add that to the roof line, looks like the frosting of the gingerbread house. 
And I just think it turned out so pretty. I love to have a little bit of sparkle on these cards. I just think it makes it feel so wintry and Christmassy and it turned out so, so pretty. So here's the little stripe part. You could do the whole ornament and that would be cute. But I just kept it to the stripe. And then again, I'm gonna add it to the white part, the frosting of the house, of the gingerbread house. And I think that turned out great. And to the gumdrops at the bottom because we know those fun, yummy, delicious gumdrops have all that sugar all over them. So I thought that this would be perfect to go on that. And once I'm done with that, I'm gonna come in with my white gel pen to add some finishing details to all of these images. On the little baker's hat for the mouse, I did add some white stripes. On the apron, toward at the bottom part of the apron, I added polka dots on both of these little mice. I just think that that added so much, made it look really festive and Christmassy. I did not add any white to the mittens. I left those alone. I'm gonna come in and add some white highlights to the mugs, a little bit of dots to the cheeks on the mice some highlights on the books, on the cookie platter. When you add it to images like a mug and a cookie platter, it makes it look shiny, which I think turns out, which I think is a great added detail to those images. I am gonna come in and add some R20 to the little cheeks on the mice because I felt like they needed to have rosy cheeks. I did add some highlights to the door on the gingerbread house. And I'm just going to finish up on the little gingerbread cookies because they always have white frosting on their arms and their legs. So I added that detail to all the little cookies. And I think when you, when you add all this little tiny detail, it really brings all of your images to life. And now you can see for each design, there is a red and white striped and a green and white striped back. I'm going to finish these with the gold sparkle lawn trimmings. I'm going to tie a knot on one end. And then now the loop end, I'm gonna stick through the front of the tag. And then through that loop, take the knot and tighten it at the top. I'm gonna to do that for all six tags. And then we're gonna be done. And these turned out so cute. This is perfect for a family member, a friend, a neighbor. Add this to a plate of goodies and everyone is gonna be so excited about these. I hope you guys enjoyed this project and I wanna thank you so very much for watching. Bye. 